हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल टू एस एम सी आई आपका प्री पी जी गाइड माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर मयूर लेट्स डिस्कस टूडे अबाउट द पेलविस देयर लिगमेंट्स एंड द जॉइंट्स ऑफ द पेलविस सो फर्स्ट लेट्स डिस्कस वट आर द जॉइंट्स एंड द लिगामेंट्स ऑफ द पेलविस सो फॉर दैट वी विल सी वन बाय वन जॉइंट फर्स्ट जॉइंट वी विल डिस्कस दैट इज एंटीरियरली विच इज अ सिम्फाइसिस pubis and then on to the posterior side of the pelvis uh, we will discuss uh, right and left sacro iliac joints then uh, below the sacrum uh, with the sacrum and the coccyx we will discuss a uh, sacro coccygeal joint so let's discuss first symphysis pubis symphysis pubis is a, a cartilaginous joint but in the cartilaginous there are also two variety primary and the secondary so here it is a secondary cartilaginous joint it is between the two pubic bones their articular surfaces are first covered with the hyaline cartilage and between these hyaline cartilage there is a disc which is known as the fibro cartilaginous disc so that's how it become a secondary cartilaginous joint it is also given a support by the two ligaments main one which is a superior and another one which is a inferior but especially inferior pubic ligament is very strong so remember symphysis pubis secondary cartilaginous joint and covered by hyaline cartilage as well as in between there is a fibro cartilaginous disc and which ligament is more stronger than it is a inferior pubic ligament now we will discuss uh, sacroiliac joints there are two in nature right sacroiliac joint and the uh, left sacroiliac joints these joints are very strong weight bearing joints and uh, it is having uh, two component one is anterior component and another one is the posterior component so the anterior component is basically a plain variety of the synovial joint and it is situated between the auricular surface of the ilium and the sacrum while posterior side it's a syndesmosis it is situated between the tuberosities of the sacrum and the ilium so remember anterior it is a plain synovial variety and the posterior it is a syndesmosis means it's a fibrous variety of the joint now this sacroiliac joint is surrounded by uh, many ligaments and we will discuss these ligaments one by one so let's start discussion about the ligaments of the sacroiliac joint as well as a uh, pelvis so first uh, interosseous uh, sacroiliac ligament it is the second strongest ligament of our body it connects the irregular bony tuberosities of the sacrum and the ilium so it connects the irregular bony tuberosities of the sacrum and the ilium it is a behind the auricular surface of the ilium now the ventral sacroiliac ligament it is a situated or you can say it is a anterior side of the sacrum it connects the ala and the pelvic surface of the sacrum and adjacent part of the ilium then the dorsal sacroiliac ligament it is made up of a strong fibrous band it connects the posterior superior iliac spine of the ilium to the intermediate sacral crest from where to where posterior superior iliac spine of the ilium with the intermediate sacral crest then the fourth ligament which is known as the ilio lumbar ligament and it connects the transverse process of the l5 vertebra with the ilium it connects the transverse process of the l5 vertebra and with the ilium then the another most important ligament which gives the support is the sacrotuberous ligament and this sacrotuberous ligament is a very broad band of the fibrous tissue it is a broader medially but as it goes uh, laterally it becomes a uh, narrow and at the medial part or you can say its upper end it is attached with the different structures so just remember these structures uh, from above to downward what are the structures so they are posterior superior iliac spine 
then posterior inferior iliac spine then uh, lateral border of the sacrum on its uh, posterior side adjacent part of the coccyx and uh, at uh, lateral side or you can say at the lower end it is uh, attached with the ischial tuberosity which part of the ischial tuberosity then the medial margin of the ischial tuberosity some of the fiber at the ischial tuberosity they are uh, continued onto the ramus of the ischium and uh, form a one uh, falci or you can say falci like a shape that is the falci form of process of the sacrotuberous ligament now we discuss a uh, sacrospinous ligament this ligament is a uh, triangular in shape its apex is uh, laterally at which part it is onto the ischial spine it's a sacrospinous so it is attached onto the spine of the ischium and its base which is attached medially onto the side of the sacrum as well as the coccyx this sacrotuberous and the sacrospinous ligaments converts the greater and lesser sciatic notch into the greater and lesser sciatic foramina so that's how we have discussed uh, six main ligaments of the pelvis interosseous sacral ligament then ventral sacroiliac ligament the dorsal sacroiliac ligament iliolumbar ligament sacrotuberous ligament and sacrospinous ligament thank you for spending your valuable time on my video see you soon with another important topic If you have any query comment below I will reply as soon as possible